holding professional records, 28 wins, 8 losses, 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 154 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Sparta, New Jersey, Jim And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Sajitsu fighter, holding professional record, 20 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, but way of at Louisiana, presenting the number 10 ranked lightweight contender in the world, Dustin the Diamond. Where the action begins, our referee in charge, Todd Anderson. The veteran Todd Anderson, our referee for this one. Chrissy Blair is with us. Thank you, Chrissy. Just about ready to go here, and fans at home, stay ready on Twitter tonight. We will have voting polls throughout the pay-per-view main card at UFC if you are somehow not following already. All right, round one here, Dustin Poirier. And Jim Miller, Poirier in blue. Miller is in black. Southpaw versus Southpaw here. You know, Jim Miller has been in a lot of wars over the course of his career, and he can actually draw you into that firefight. Let's see how long Dustin can actually stick to what he's saying and trying to fight within himself a little bit. Two good leg kicks at the start of the fight by Poirier. Yeah, Jim Miller really does seem to thrive on wars and often finds himself in them and with fighters that aren't ordinarily in war. Right. It's his style of blood and cuts fighting and is a beautiful right hook leg kick combination by Jim. There are times when you watch Jim Miller strike and you think his entire life he's been a striker. But this guy did wrestle in college, you know, so it's like he's such an evolved uh, uh, fighter, you know, a long time veteran in this sport. Another beautiful leg kick by Poirier. Nice double jab there by Poirier as well. Jim's done that a few times now. He's thrown that right hook up top and then went straight left to the body. Which again is one of those things. It's an investment in later in the fight, hoping that the body damage actually takes a toll as the fight progresses. And there's a strong leg kick by Miller as well. Poirier's got some long punches, DC. Yeah, he does, and he throws them nice and straight. You know, you don't have many wasted actions uh, when he's throwing his punches. He doesn't tend to loop them very often. They're all straight, and there you go. You see Miller with the takedown. Nice defense by Poirier. Beautiful defense by Poirier, and a nice uppercut as well. Good body shots by Poirier. And he's got Miller pressed up against the cage here. There you go by Miller. Knees to the body. Now, one of the things you do when you're pushing a guy against the fence is you cannot give him that much real estate to knee. You cannot be square. You have to get a knee inside as it closes up that angle for him to actually get those knees off on you. Woo! Good left uppercut and another right hand by Poirier. Look at Miller answer though. Both of those guys are throwing leather now. Halo Wars 2 available February 21st on Xbox One and Windows 10. Get the Ultimate Edition and play four days early. We have crossed the midpoint here of round one. Five of Poirier's last six fights have ended in round one. He has finished eight of his last nine UFC wins. Again with that combination. Hook to the right to the body. Or left to the body. Counter left is there for Miller. Nice combination into the body by Miller. Nice jab by Poirier. Miller's now starting to pick up the pace a little bit. Poirier just out of range with the right hand. Miller with the right hand counter. Other than that one takedown, there's a beautiful left hand over the top by Poirier. 
Other than that one takedown attempt by Miller, this is a stand up brawl right now. Yep, in both are throwing. Boye actually initially sought out to become a boxer when he realized he could get MMA training in his hometown. The rest is history. Catches the leg there and clips Miller with a right hand. But then Miller takes him down. Beautiful job by Miller. What? Look, look the at the speed that. he took that back. Got to be careful here with Poirier. But he's very strong. Very strong with the back mount. Black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And he's got some very good submission victories, on, on, especially the one against Charles Oliveira. Over high level guys. Yeah. Poirier needs to fight that top hand. He's got to fight that top hand. There you go. All right, turn back into Miller. And we'll see if Poirier chooses to hang around on the ground. Looks like he will. Miller very good off of his back as well. Submitted Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt Fabricio Camões from his back. There look at that Poirier with a beautiful combination. Oh, Miller returns. Oh, they're going after it here. That's what we talk oh. about. How long? How long could Dustin Poirier fight the urge? Him and Jim Miller to actually do that. How long? <laughs> Jim Miller <laughs> creates fight the brawls, urge. man. He creates man. brawls. <laughs> this corner cam is brought to you by Halo Wars 2, available February 21st on Xbox One and Windows 10. Get the Ultimate Edition and play four days early. What did he just yell at you, DC? I wasn't paying attention, man, but I'm saying how long can he fight the urge to do that? Both of them. I think he said he's, I'm the king of Lafayette. I oh, think he that's is. what he just said. <laughs> I, so I already gave it up. He just hasn't watched the fight yet. <laughs> he said it again. Yeah. He's rubbing it in. Let's take a look at it here. He's gonna say it again. Look at this. <laughs> Beautiful combination. I mean, they were going after it here. These guys, I mean, this is, this is just absolutely what he said he wasn't gonna do. Yeah, exactly. And in here, he lands a good left hook on Miller, but Miller's standing there. Jim Miller is comfortable in here, as is Dustin Poirier. Oh, Miller loves it. <laughs> Poirier loves it, even though he said he wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> and it's fun for us to watch. You couldn't find a single interview of Dustin Poirier during fight week in which he didn't say the words defensively You're responsible. Ready. You're ready. Throwing Go caution ahead. to the wind there late in round one. Here is round two now with Poirier in blue, Jim Miller in black. Well, he didn't get clipped or dropped, so he wasn't too irresponsible. I'm trying to look at the bright side. I hear <laughs> it was a very close round. That first round was a very close round. Yeah, it certainly was. I think if I had to look at it objectively, Poirier might have landed the harder shots. He's a, a big red mark on the left knee of Jim Miller. And you see there, Poirier with 22 headshots to Miller's 13. We call that Matt Bird, Joe. Oh, beautiful that, kick there. That big burn on his leg is from when he got that yeah. low single shot and he had to drive into Dustin on his knees. Good straight left hand by he Poirier. He tore it up with that. Ooh, nice counter right here. Nice counter left by Miller. Yeah, Miller's starting to find his range here early round two. Miller's hands look quick tonight on that counter. Poirier nice counter to the right there yep. by Miller. Oh, beautiful leg kick again. And Poirier tried immediately to counter, like you said, to bring it back. Straight left. Yeah, they're back at it. Oh, 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 oh Miller, he's wobbly, he's he wobbly. And he grabs a single. Defensive shot by Miller, watch the guillotine choke by Poirier. Look at him. Oh, he's got the neck. Yep. Oh, big nice. right hand by oh, Poirier. Big shot. And Miller trying to return with that knee. Dustin trying to get some space to get the shots off. Miller's trying to keep him close. You see, see the little angles. He hits him, then he steps back a little bit. Miller needs to slow him down. Poirier splits the guard with that straight right. And Miller lands a left hand over the top there, but Poirier with a beautiful right jab and then a nice short right hook. Another straight right hand. Body shot would be good here. Both of these guys, they're, all, they're anticipating head shots now. Oh, that's a very good point. Very good point there, you see. They're head hunting. Oh, yeah. man, Poirier pouring it on. Oh, that was a hard right hook. And Miller comes back to one of his own. Wow, what action here, round two. This is the fight. Look at the angle. Oh, you see beautiful the left hand there by Poirier. Oh, 
Jim's got to get his back off the mat. A nice right body shot. Poirier. These guys are chasing bonus money tonight. Poirier clearly landing the harder yeah. and more damaging shots in this round. But Jim Miller hanging in there. Yes, he is very, very tough. The issue is when you're only reacting, it's a problem. You have to be able to take that, take control again if you're going to find success. You cannot just react to your opponent. Good kick to the body there by Miller. Oh, oh, beautiful right and the left. Hey, watch yourself. Hey, knees. chop, hey, chop, chop. Get a hold hey. of him. Yes, feet. Get a hold of him. Look at that feet. Oh, nasty left hand by Poirier. Lay and Miller down, looking down. for that shot. Poirier is doing it. Oh, there were those elbows. Poirier is doing a really good job Elbow. of defending takedowns. Yep, fighting very instinctively tonight. Under 90 seconds now to go round two. Seen a couple desperation shots from Jim Miller after he got stuck. Miller is wearing it here midway through this one. This is a big, big round so far for Dustin Poirier. Poirier going Poirier to take down now. Take down. He's going to get it. Yep. I think Jim's tired. The accumulation of the damage that he's taken. Good takedown by Dustin. Most certainly, but look at what Jim is setting up here. He just doesn't have it in the tank. One minute to go. One minute to go. Let's get our head free. Let's get our head free. Hands on the chest. Yeah. Dustin Please, takes him down right in front of his corner. Mike Brown telling him instructions. He's letting him up. Miller's face is busted open. You like that decision by Poirier to let him up? I think it's a great idea because he was doing so well on the feet. It's just and danger, too, in being on top of Jim Miller. There. Yes. And Miller certainly looks like he's slowing down. There's a nice combination again by Poirier. Poirier is, he's throwing lead. He is swinging. And that look was almost it, as if to say, what is it going to take to make this guy go on top? Another good kick to the body by Jim Miller. Jim Miller's having some good success yeah, he getting is. under He's that right arm. And there's a nice, nice knee to the body. Man, Miller is not out of this. No. Incredibly so. And nods at Poirier. These are two tough men. Let's take a look here. Poirier with the left hand. You see Miller stumble a little bit there against the cage. There's another left hand and a right behind it. And that one wobbled him a bit. Look at that beautiful head movement there and a right-left combination, another right behind it. Poirier looking man. sharp in the second round. round. Look on, at that. Brother. Let's rest some water. Take some water. Jim Miller has come on, buddy. shots to the head. <laughs> All right. And it's not like Listen, he's, he's throwing paw and jabs at his head. He's throwing Jim, full power you're doing, you're doing at Jim well. Miller. Yeah. Jim Miller's taking these. And not only yeah. is he taking these shots, the rhythm. he's Five actually minutes. returning. Of them, let him dictate. Yeah. Keep moving. Reset. If he's standing in front of you, reset. Dictate the rhythm. With hey, buddy, Dustin, don't force anything. Five minutes, pick him apart. Five minutes. Hey, beat him, beat him to your distance. Hey, beat him to your distance. UFC 208 is presented in high definition by the hilarious new comedy Fist Fight, starring Ice Cube and Charlie Day in theaters February 17th. Dustin Poirier, relatively new father. You see the tattoo Parker Noel for his you daughter. Ready? You ready? On the right side there. Here we go. Third and final round. What a fight so far. Dustin Poirier, Jim Miller. Jim's corner told him, you dictate the pace. Stop allowing him to dictate. And he had a nice, clean left hand there. But obviously, that's easier said than done. Yes. Because Dustin Poirier is getting off of some tremendous. Oh, he nailed him with a nice right hand there as well. It's Jim Miller. He's about as durable as it gets. Yeah. 13 UFC bonuses between these two fighters coming in. There you go. Nice leg kick there by Miller, and he attacks it again. He's kicking that low, be below the below the thigh. Yeah. He's hitting him on the back of the leg. And Poirier looks like he's hiding a limp there. It doesn't, yes. take, it doesn't yeah. take many of those. He's hurting. Yeah. He's hurting bad. Oh, he's going to yeah, have to switch his stance. He's gonna have to switch his stance. Yeah, he's trying to get it out of there now. Yep. And Jim is very, and he's taking a lot of the steam off of his punches too. He can't push off that right leg anymore. Well, he's worried about the kicks. Look at that, he's worried about the kick. It's hard for him to get his offense off because he's so afraid of the kick. And, the, and a left hand by Jim Miller. 
So it figures to be hard on Poirier to plan on that lead leg going forward. Nice jab there by Poirier. You hear Corey, Corey, yeah. yeah. They're screaming at his leg. Look at that. Look oh, at the swelling limping. on that leg. Look at the yeah. swelling on it. He's limping bad. He switched he stance. Right. Oh, and he attacks the other one. Whoa. Boy, he's swinging now. Yes. There's a lot of time in this round as well. And again, he attacks oh, it. Smart by Corey. Very and nice. Get take down. Yep. Very nice. But he's got to be careful here off of his back. Jim Miller is very dangerous. He goes to rubber guard here. He's trapped the right arm. Let's see if he can get something off here. Touch that ear. He's got to really pull down on that leg because Dustin Poirier is going to pop his head out the back if he doesn't. Miller, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt dating to July of 2010. Very key for Poirier not to allow this right hand to stay on the ground too much. That's what guys attack. As wrestlers, we tend to put our hands on each side of the body. You cannot have your hand on the ground with a guy that's very good at grappling. Exactly, especially off the back. That's the one thing that people look to control. When the hands are on the mat, your arm is in jeopardy. And you can trap it with the legs. And Jim Miller looking to attack the neck now here. He's holding on to the neck. And Poirier has been submitted before. Of course, the Korean zombie caught him with a Darce choke, which is Poirier's specialty. Right, yeah. And Jim Miller looking to set up a triangle here again, going with the rubber guard, but he's not pulling down with the right leg, or the right arm, rather, this time. He's got the left leg strong on the back of the neck, and now nothing. But clearly, Poirier, guys, running some clock here after the damage sustained to that leg. This is a much better position for him than on the feet, because he took two, three mortars, kicks, maybe, and he may not be able to stand at all. Yeah, if you were in Miller's corner, I mean, it's a toss-up here. Do you try to keep attacking off your back, or do you try to get back up to your feet? And, and chop at that leg. Right. I, I think that I think you have to be trying to get back to your feet. Give yourself a shot. Yeah, because it, it seems like Poirier is doing a real good job of defending, and now Miller recognizes there he is. only a minute and 30 to go. He's going to try to get back up to his feet. Yep. But Poirier is on his back here. Uh, he's going to slip off. He yep, he screwed up. And a lot of that could be about his legs not functioning properly. Jim needs to create space here, though. This is not, he does not to be here. He doesn't need to be here. Right? He needs to create space to get back on those kicks. Poirier needs to be okay with this. He needs to be okay with keeping them close. Well, what, what's also interesting, if that knee is that damaged, how well is he gonna be at defending against takedowns? Yeah. I mean, how, how, how damaged is that leg? Well, he can defend takedowns. He just, I just don't think he can take many more of those. Look at this. Oh, man, he right made a big down. mistake there, trying yep. to hop over the top. And again, right arm to the mat, pulls up on his left, but it's just his head's pressed up against the cage. Not a lot of room for Miller to move. Coming up on 30 seconds to decide this one. Oh, he's got a Kimura. Kimura tip by Miller. Very hard to do off your back, especially when you're tired. Especially when you don't have full guard. Poirier's gonna cover it. You see that? He's trying to cover it with his left leg. Now there's not much danger. Well, now Jim's in a better position. Now yep. he throws that left leg over. The leg goes over the top. Yeah, it's a better position now. Now he's got control. Oh, oh it slipped out. Slipped. Slipped out. Poirier on top. What a fight turned in by these two lightweights. Great fight. Great audible by Dustin Poirier to go to the wrestling there. Yes. So Poirier and Jim Miller go the distance to kick off the pay-per-view main card tonight in Brooklyn. Poirier gets up and he is limping. This fight replay is brought to you by Budweiser. This part's for you. And here you see Poirier with a right and a left, and a right again, and there's a left. The straight left by Miller. I mean, this is the wild brawl <laughs> at the end of the first round. Everything he said he wouldn't do, he did. Right there, you see a fade back, come back with the straight right hand, and it, these are the kicks by Jim Miller. Yeah, you the would, low leg kicks really were damaging that leg. And this is the time where he caught that kick, wound up getting him to the ground. And that was a huge, huge factor in that fight because he's not even standing up no. now. And Jim looking at that now has got to be thinking, man, I should have probably concentrated on doing everything I could to try to stand up. He might have a broken leg. Yeah, he had to actually get that takedown. That was the only way to get through the rest of the fight was to actually turn it into a grappling match. If he'd have been on his feet anymore, uh, Miller land one, two more of those leg kicks, he may not have been able to continue. And that's got to be messing with Miller now, knowing that. 
Well, because he spent so much time attacking submissions yes. instead of trying instead to get, back, trying to get back, back up to his feet, which he might have been able to do much more than he thought because he really didn't try too hard to get back up to his feet. I think it's okay, please. I mean, his right shin is massively swollen. It is a huge, huge bulge. Yep. Both of those guys were kicking low. There's a lot of benefit to kicking below the knee, but it only takes one to get checked and you can mess yourself up. So, you know, Miller did a lot of damage with those kicks himself, but Dustin Poirier may have gotten a couple of his kicks checked, and he, he started to hurt his own leg, you know, so he's gonna be sore tomorrow, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> and you might have heard Poirier say to his chief corner, Mike Brown, I'm taking some time off. Poirier certainly has earned it, fought three times in 2016, making his first appearance of the new year here tonight. Outstanding way to kick off the main card, Jim Miller and Dustin Poirier. Poirier unable to get Miller out of there, certainly not for any lack of effort. Dustin Poirier in some obvious pain here as we await the official decision. 17th UFC appearance for Dustin Poirier, debuted back on New Year's Day 2011 at UFC 125. The official decision is brought to you by Metro PCS. Get a fast nationwide 4G LTE network for only $30 period, wireless figured out. Now for the official decision, Bruce decision. Buffer. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for decision. Eric Cohen scores the contest 28-28. Chris Lee scores the contest 30-27, Poirier. And Derek Curry scores the contest 29-28 for the winner by majority decision, Dustin the Diamond Ball!